हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड ऑडियंस माई सिर्फ योगेश गायरणी फैकल्टी एट मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट के केवा पॉलिटेक्निक नासिक वेलकम टू ऑल इन द सीरीज ऑफ डिजाइन ऑफ मशीन एलिमेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज टर्मिनोलॉजी और नॉमिन क्लेचर ऑफ हिलिकल कंप्रेशन स्प्रे सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस एवरीबॉडी शुड नो फंक्शन एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द स्प्रे द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ स्प्रे इज टू डिफ्लेक्ट और डिस्टॉर्ट अंडर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लो means it's a elastic element it will going to deflect under the application of load so different applications are there first to apply the force to provide the cushion cushioning effect whenever required next to measure the load so these are different type of application of springs so main aim of this video is to understand the terminology of helical compression spring here is the helical compression springs diagram i have shown three diagram diagram number 1 diagram number 2 diagram number 3 three diagram indicate the effect of loading on the spring this diagram shows this is a simple helical compression spring and in this spring we can say see see here, here is the actual spring we have this is the spring which is used along with the absorber shock absorber so this is a helical compression spring this is of the two wheeler which is used along with the shock absorber so we can say this is a helical compression spring here you can clearly see these are the number of turn 1 2 3 4 like by these are the number of turn if i am going to hold like this it's a it's a turn it's a turn it's one turn or it's a mean coil or coil diameter this is a coil this is a coil see here when this is first diagram indicate when spring is in unloaded condition here when the load is going to apply on the spring it will going to deflect so the deflection will be shown by the delta so delta is the deflection due to load and if you apply maximum load on a spring what happen its each and every coil will touch to each other and it will be a solid length spring will be a solid length when maximum load will going to apply on it until the each and every coil will touch to each other so this is the delta maximum and here we get solid length let's see capital d is the mean diameter of spring coil d o is equal to outside diameter of the spring coil d i is equal to inside diameter of the spring coil here we can clearly see this is the outside diameter if i am holding like this so i am holding a outside diameter this is a inside diameter of the spring denoted by di and mean of outside and inside will be a d it's a mean coil diameter see here d is equal to diameter of spring wire see here here the spring wire this is a spring wire and if i am holding this it's a diameter of spring wire here i have shown it means before manufacturing spring spring is a wire it's a wire so it's a d is equal to diameter of spring wire here n is equal to number of active turn number of active turn is the turn which actually participate which actually participate in the compression known as active turn n dash total number of turn means this is a top and bottom turn including all this turn we consider it as a total number of turn ls already we have shown it solid length lf free length when it is in the unloaded condition and pitch is equal to distance between two successive number of turn so this is the pitch so here we are going to discuss more important elements or nomenclature of helical compression spring from formula point of view first solid length or solid height denoted by ls how to calculate this solid length is such a length when spring is loaded fully until its all coil touch to each other as shown in this diagram so this is known as solid length how to calculate solid length this is the formula for the same solid length is equal to n dash multiplied by d n dash is equal to total number of turn multiply by d is equal to diameter of the wire so with the help of this we can able to calculate solid length so second terminology and concept free length denoted by lf this is the free length when 
spring is in unloaded condition. Just like this, it is unloaded condition. Unloaded condition. If I measure this length, this length will be a this length will be a free length. And how to find out this free length? This is the equation of formula n dash into d. n dash into d is nothing but a solid length plus delta maximum. This is a maximum deflection. Here I have shown a maximum deflection plus 0.15 times a maximum deflection. So this is 0.15 times. Why it is taken over here? Because when spring compressed fully until it will be a solid length, some gap will remain. In between the coils, so we have to consider this 0.15 percent clearance. So when you add all this, means solid length plus delta maximum plus 0.15 times delta maximum, you will get solid uh, free length. So this is the second concept. Third terminology: spring index denoted by C, which plays very important role in design of spring. So spring index. C is equal to capital D divided by small d. This is nothing but a ratio of mean coil diameter to the diameter of wire. So see here, this is the mean coil diameter. Here I am showing mean coil diameter divided by diameter of the wire will provide you spring index. Next important terminology along with the formula is spring stiffness is denoted by. Yes, or it is denoted by K. So, and it again important element that is spring stiffness is nothing but a load required to deflect the spring. Load required per unit deflection means how much load you are going to apply on the spring and how much it will going to deflect is the spring stiffness. So, S is equal to spring stiffness W divided by delta. And last one is pitch of the Coil pitch is nothing but a distance between two successive coils. Here I have taken this coil, and same coil if I am taking over here, the distance between these two coils will be a pitch. And how to calculate mathematically? So pitch will be equal to free length of the spring divided by n dash minus one, where n dash is equal to to total number of turn. So this is the terminology of helical compression spring so hope you understand this total lecture related to spring terminology how helical compression spring is that i have actually shown here a helical compression spring i have explained you each and every terminology if you like this video you can share it you can subscribe my channel and you can share it with your friends and be in touch with this series of design of machine element because in upcoming lecture i am going to take problem on the helical compression spring thank you